Welcome back, Wolfpack Vrillis here, and today we have a battle with Matt. So, let's go and jump into this. There's a Sigalith, and apparently it does some awesome stuff. And also, I've been reading a lot of you guys' comments. Most of you wonder why I review singles, and I don't do a lot of doubles, and why it's mostly the 3, 3v3 and 4v4 videos. Mostly because they're simply easier to review. I will say that much. Like, if I have to do a 40-turn 6v6 battle, or even 20-turn 6v6 battle... It can really just wear down to try to keep talking, keep coming up with something about it. With the 3v3, 4v4 battles, really fast and really enjoyable to do because I can get a better grasp of what's going on instead of having to predict the other five Pokemon that are running around that could potentially affect the battle. So, looks like Sigalith was immediately going for some craziness right there that I was not ready for. Because I was not paying attention. What happened? Wait, wait, what happened back there? Okay. So, I want to say something happened with the Synchronize. So, Sigalith uses Cosmic Power on that first turn. It's a really awesome move. I enjoy it quite a bit. So, Metagross uses Power Up Punch. Okay. And then, Metagross's attack starts rising. Oh, okay, I see how it is. That's actually a really awesome strategy now that I see what's going on. A Burn Orb with Psycho Shift, thus transferring the burn to the opponent while healing it yourself. So it's pretty much like a interesting form of Will-O-Wisp that I guess is 100% effective, but cost you an item. Interesting. I'm a big fan of Cosmic Power as well, just because Cosmic Power is, is that stockpile for Psychic types. Oh, now I see what goes on. Okay. By having the burn orb, you are also preventing yourself from getting status, and uh, Sigalith has that ability that keeps it from taking damage from anything that is not an attack. So Metagross is trying to use Power Up Punch to gain some damage. Uh, Sigalith is gaining defenses at the same rate, therefore Power Up Punch is becoming useless, and with the burn, Metagross's damage is about as low as it can be. So it doesn't matter that Metagross is plus three. Sigalith is plus three right now as well, and that burn is just destructive to it. I guess also it being very not effective against it, not very effective is not, does not help at all. So this is just giving Sigalith a free setup. This is very interesting to watch, because I've been hearing a lot about how Sigalith can do these stockpile-like shenanigans, especially because Cosmic Power with its ability so it's kind of like Clefable, just with different typing and a different way to transfer statuses onto the opponent. Really nice. Stored power. There we go. I was waiting for that. Like, I wonder if this guy has stored power. Because that, that's four cosmic powers, I believe. So that's a plus eight on stored power, which means it has a hundred and... I want to say 180 base power right now for stored power. Which is kind of very strong. Metagross didn't take a lot of damage, but Metagross isn't doing a lot of damage. So I would just keep going with it, those stored powers, getting as much as I could. That was about all Metagross had left. Was that attempt to try to do a big Meteor Mash. Still not not a lot of damage, but just enough for the Burn Orb on that, on that stored power. Let's see what happens now with this Sigalith, because that was pretty good. Charizard. Alright, Charizard Y. Hitting, let's see what happens when you have a stored power off of all those cosmic powers working against Charizard Y. Because with the Metagross, it was not very effective. I believe it was like a quarter damage because it's a psychic type. So I'm really interested to see how much damage it will do. Oh, also Sigalith has Roost, by the way. That way, it's just it just has so much sustain. I see a good rotation here with the cosmic power. Roost... Stored power and then uh, Psycho Shift. So, this thing is holding its own very well against even a Charizard Y, which is just known for being devastatingly high damage. Like even the Heat Wave is doing, admittingly, a ton of damage to this, this uh, Sigalith. But it's still being, it's still at the point where. It's doing enough damage where it can heal mo more than the amount dealt back and then get a nice uh, cosmic power off. 
So it looks like Charizard's getting at the point where it wants the Air Slash to land, get a flinch, try to turn the battle. That's not really happening right now. And Sigalith is on that. I think I I think that's the six cosmic power. This stored power is going to hurt. That's going to be 260 base power on that cosmic power with the stab. I'm pretty sure Charizard is going. Ooh, that flinch. Pretty sure Charizard is going to get a good night right here. After the roost, I'm waiting. I want to see the damage. I've been waiting to see how much this is going to do the whole time. Come on. Oh. Still, still waiting. It's, it's so much anticipation right now. So much anticipation. Alright. Yeah, the, the only hope for Charizard is a crit. On a heat wave, maybe. So there's the stored power. And that's a one-shot. Good job, Sigalith. That was messed up. Too much base power. It doesn't matter how low your stats are. When you have 260 base power, then stab applying. So that's probably a one-hit KO. Bye-bye, Vaporeon. I don't think the crit mattered at all on that one. So that's Sigalith. If you've heard terrifying stories of Sigalith, they are true. This guy hurts. And it looks like the follow-up team was like Klefki for softening up, and then Azumarill for some massive belly drum pain. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really like this one. This was just Sigalith going to work. I'm always a fan of these kinds of strategies. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a nice day.